I can't believe the time has arrived, but my friends, it is time for us to discuss December beauty favorites. Truly, what a fabulous month we have been having to everyone who has been tuning in every day and hanging out with us during Landmas. What a fun month! I have been having so much fun. We have been having so much fun. Dan has just been, it's all been a blast. Honestly, thank you so much for being here with us over this last month, and I can't believe that it, we are almost coming to a close for Landmas 2023. That is a wild thought. Listen, we got lots to cover over the last couple of videos for the month, but today I wanted to tackle the December beauty favorites, which in comparison to other months and over the years on our YouTube channel, this is a much lighter load. I have actually been loving the trend of de-influencing and simplifying our routines and using less and using what we have and celebrating the products that we already know and love and just reducing the overconsumption by a bit. So that's been really nice. I wanted to obviously show you a few of my beauty favorites, but I'm going to start off by talking about some of the empties, some of the things that I used up this month. So let's just, let's just dive right in, shall we? Living Proof Flex Hairspray. This is fabulous. This is a very light hold hairspray. I feel like it gives a nice shine. It doesn't leave your hair feeling too crunchy so you can brush it through after. It also has a very, very lovely scent that doesn't irritate me and I am very sensitive to a lot of fragrances. So that Flex Hairspray, it's been one of my favorites for a long time and I will absolutely be repurchasing. Totally grape water spray. One of my favorite products to just always have on hand. I always have a full size in my bathroom and then I do love to keep a little mini size on hand too when I travel and whatnot, but I just spray this on my face at all times throughout the day and it just feels great. Honestly, this is one of my first products that I ever purchased at Sephora, fun fact. The La Roche-Posay Lip Bacar Lotion. Now, I actually bought this on Vanessa's recommendation because she was like, oh my gosh, you're gonna love this. This is a lotion I use, you have to try it. And it's one that I tried before, but I never thought twice about about repurchasing and I have gone through this entire bottle. It's beautiful. And the reason why I actually like it, obviously there's so many lotions and potions that I love to put on my body, but just for ease throughout the day, I love that this has a pump because it can just sit on my counter and I can just pump it and I don't have to worry about it. Sometimes when you're squeezing and you're rubbing it in your body and you have to squeeze again and the bottle slips out of your hands or if you're in a tub and it's just, it can be a little bit messy rubbing lotion all over your body. So I love having the pump and it's just easy and I keep it on my bathroom counter and it's fab. So I already have another one. They actually very kindly mailed me a backup, but I did purchase this and will continue to do so. No problem, love it. It's just great for sensitive skin too. Nothing irritating and uber super hydrating for the winter time. And the last empty I wanna talk about is actually going straight into my favorites as well because wow, we have been reborn into the Vichy Mineral 89 serum world. Now this is a product that I have used for a very, very long time on and off, but I have since over the last few weeks and months added it into my actual skincare routine and I'm using it daily and I'm almost out of this one. I'm including it as like a pre-empty because like in the next week it's gonna be gone and I have a backup, absolutely. This has been so fabulous and it's just everything that you want for hydration and plumping without any of the extra fluff, nothing irritating. It's just a glorious, gorgeous serum to have on hand if you have really dry skin or you're looking to add some hydration into the routine, so. Mineral 89. Now, speaking of my simplified skincare routine, I have to talk about the Embraly Slate Creme Concentre. The multifunction moisturizer, moisturizing cream, makeup base, moisturizing mask, makeup remover, milk. Oh, this beautiful one right here. They've since redone the packaging. It used to just be a plain white bottle with the blue text, but very cute, very cute little package update. This bottle in particular, this new little packaging was one that they had actually sent me for my wedding, which was so cute. And I wore this on my wedding day, my wedding day makeup. And I mean, this is a product I've loved for a few years now. I was definitely late to the train on this the first time I tried it. I feel like it was, I just looked this up. I think it was 2021, but it's just a simple, beautiful moisturizer. And again, in the name of simplifying all of our routines, routines, I have just been condensing down my, my daily skincare and the daily products that I've been putting on my face and just having this as my one and done face cream. Beautiful. It also sits so well under makeup and I don't feel like I need to add any extra primers and my skin has never been happier for it. So this has been so beautiful. And I actually, this month, I worked on a special little interview project with them, which you guys will be seeing in January. So I'm excited and I'll definitely be sure to show you when that's out, but lots of love over here for this guy. Now, one of my favorite videos that I always include on a seasonal basis is my updated everyday makeup routine. And this month was no different. I did my everyday makeup for winter, a little seasonal update going into the colder weather. And just like the skincare routine, I've been simplifying the makeup routine and trying to use less on my face. On a daily basis, I've really like not been wearing a lot of mascara. I've been using less on my base. And the Tower 28 Serum Concealer has been such a beautiful product that I have been using to do so. Mixing these two together, if you guys saw that video, you would 
would have seen this lovely little combination. If not, I will link it here wherever the the little tab goes. I'll link it here for you to check it out. But one of my favorite like everyday makeup, go-to makeup looks that I've ever done. And this concealer is really beautiful. It has like a self-setting feeling to it. Like I feel like I can wear it alone and by itself it wears so beautifully throughout the day. It's really nice, it's hydrating. Uh, but my favorite thing about it honestly is the shade. <laughs> it's a perfect neutral undertone. I feel like it suits my natural pale skin tone very well. And it's just been such a joy to use. I don't know if I said this already, but DTLA is the shade that I've been using. Using. And there's so many products from Tower 28 that I love. I think they do such a great job and I'm continually impressed every time something comes out and this serum concealer is no different. What a gorgeous favorite product that I have been loving all month long. Now I'm gonna be honest with you when it comes to blush. Oh boy, I've been using the same blushes on repeat. Like Nude Sticks Bareback has really been a consistent, heavy daily favorite for me since I did my wedding makeup. And I was like, oh yeah, just that eureka aha moment of like, this is the blush for me, bury me in this pink blush. <laughs> and then going into fall and winter, obviously Charlotte Tilbury Color of Passions. Like they're just my favorites, honestly. But I really happily discovered the Pixie on the Glow blush. Sorry, that was a mouthful for a second. The tint of moisture stick. This is the shade Fleur. And this is a beautiful pink shade. Oh my God, it matches my sweater. I didn't even notice. It looks like a little watermelon stick. Now, last year, question mark, last year, the year before, honestly guys, all the years are blurring together. I don't remember, but I had gone on a trip with Modaliste magazine and we went to Mexico and one of the sponsors on that trip was actually Pixie at the time. And at the time I remember thinking like, oh my gosh, I've seen so much about this blush. I like hope they include it as the products that we get to use. And I feel like the one that I used was like a bronzer highlighter mix, whatever. And I was like, oh, I just really want to try it. And it's one of those things that I forgot about after. And I just, I've always meant to try this. I've seen so many people rave about this particular shade and I'm so happy that I finally picked it up. It is beautiful. It, it blends like a dream. It's super moisturizing and glowy and natural looking and just a beautiful, beautiful pink. It's really fresh and uh, it's just a really good blush option from the drugstore and you get a lot of product in there. Beautiful pink. If you're looking for a new one to try, love that. And just in case anyone's wondering how it compares to bareback, it's not the same at all. Bareback is like a really, really soft, barely there, like petal light, light pink. This is like a true warm pink, much more pigmented, much more bright. And also the nude sticks blush is matte. This is glowy. So they're just completely different in my books. <laughs> Okay, moving on to lips. We've got a couple lip favorites. Now, first of all, I just gotta mention to you, the lip combo that I put on my face today is the Victoria Beckham O2 Lip Definer and this e.l.f. Glow Reviver Lip Oil. I used this filming my little New Year's Eve get ready with me and I was like, Ugh. This is the shade Pink Quartz. And wow, what a lovely gloss. What a lovely, lovely gloss. It's a little bit more like minty and a little bit more thin feeling than the Dior Lip Glow Oil. Like the Dior one's just like a thick, like succulent glowing oil. This one's like a, a bit of a lighter, thinner version, but beautiful, beautiful. I've been staring at my lips like this. I just keep, I keep copping a look. I'm like, ah, this combo looks amazing. And I just wanted to say that technically I just put this on to film. This isn't necessarily a monthly favorite, but it absolutely could be now because I have been so impressed by this lovely little lip combo. But going back to the favorites uh, over the last few months or this month in particular, but some of these continue longer than that. You get it. The Road Peptide Lip Tint. This is the shade Ribbon. Now there have been a lot of tinted lip products that have been coming out. Like so many that I can't keep track truly. I have a million and one lip products laying all over the town, but you guys know how much I love a pink. I love a pink blush. I love a pink lip gloss. I love pink, 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 like a fresh, cool pink. And the shade of pink in particular of this color just really stood out to me amongst all of the lip treatments that exist and all the different tinted lip products that have come out. This shade of pink does something to my soul. I don't know what it is. I don't know what this tone is. It's like a true like ballet slipper pink. It is so pretty, really, really so pretty. I can't get enough of it. It looks so good on the lips with any of my lip liners and just for a daily go-to lip product, this has been such a joy and a delight. And I also like the fact that the packaging so beautifully, perfectly matches the color. It's just so pretty. I love it. And I have, I'm going to use that word. I have been obsessed with this and it is absolutely a favorite. And if you haven't tried this pink, it's like, it feels unique to me. I don't know. I don't have anything like it in my makeup collection. And that is saying something. So 
huge favorite. Now, an old favorite, but I'm just pulling it back out again. The Victoria Beckham Bitten Lip Tint. This one's in the shade Cherie, Cherry, Cherie. And it was funny because I believe this was, oh, I don't remember when that comment was, but I saw a comment maybe around the time of doing my fall everyday makeup and someone was like, oh, what about your Victoria Beckham Bitten Lip Tints? And I was like, <laughs> You are so right, I'm so sorry. How could I have forgotten? Ugh. One of my favorite colors of all time. And these lip tints, AKA like lip stain, sometimes they can be a little bit curdly on my lips. I won't lie to you. You have to kind of work it into your lips. You have to go in a few layers. You have to be a little bit precise and get your lip line. You know, you gotta work with it. But once you do, it just gives the most beautiful long lasting stain during the day. And I just can't get enough of this color. I love the packaging. I really am such a fan of everything Victoria Beckham Beauty. And I think that from the start, she has done such a fantastic job with the brand and all the products that she comes out with. And I've mentioned this before, but it's one of my favorite videos that I've ever filmed was her like brand overview. And I'm really proud of that video. And I love the product so much. And if I had to choose my top Lux brands, I can't pick one, but if I had to pick two, it would be Dior and Victoria Beckham Beauty. As far as how much I love like the variety and the range of products that they have, like the products that I would need to get through, Victoria Beckham Beauty and Dior Beauty are like my top two no problem, no questions asked. And this bitten lip tint just continues to always be one of my go-to products. Like if I ever need something to just last on my lips, throw this on, no problem, I love the color. This mixed with my little Charlotte Tilbury Color of Passions, beautiful combo, this on its own with whatever I'm wearing on my face, it's beautiful. Great, great lip stain if you're wanting to treat yourself and just, just it's just fancy, it just feels luxury. Ugh. And on that note, I actually wanted to mention the Dior Forever Lip Lacquer, the shade 999, the red lipstick. It's been like one of the go-to red lipsticks that I have been wearing, uh, but I can't find it anywhere. It doesn't exist. The packaging that I have, the product that I have, it doesn't exist. I'm like, was this a limited edition product? I have no idea. <laughs> I can't find it anywhere. I wanted to include it in the giveaways. There is a 999, like similar liquid lipstick, like the long lasting 24 hours, smudge proof, whatever lipstick. But the version that I have that I got in PR, I can't find it anywhere. So I'm gonna have to look into this, but just know as like a holiday, December, Christmassy, winter red lip, like that has been my favorite red lip that I've gone to over and over again. Huge new favorite, love the formula. And I also love the dope applicator. And now we need to move on to the, the tragedy. And this is where I need to apologize sincerely to you, my friends. And I did just post a TikTok <laughs> apologizing to my people because I recently talked to you guys about Nick's nude beige, okay? This was a discovery. I think it was December of last year because I included it in my favorites and also my yearly favorites. And I was like, this is the best lip pencil that I've ever used. This is the best lip color I've ever Ever used. It has continued to be my favorite all year round. And a few of you lately have been commenting, being like, oh, they've discontinued this lip color, RIP. And I was like, what are you talking about now? And then I even went out to the drugstore and I picked up a couple and I was like, guys, see, it's still here. No problem, no problem. And I said that without really looking into the fine details. And for that, I apologize because you guys are absolutely correct. And the NYX new beige, as we know it, no longer exists. They have completely changed it, it is not the same, and I am so sad, I can't, I just can't believe it. Okay, okay, so first of all, the packaging is different. The packaging is different. Here's the original one that I know and love, and then here's the new one. Different little packaging, we've got a little rounded top here, okay? The name is the same, and it looks like from, if you just look at it with a quick little glance, you wouldn't think that anything is amiss, but uh, alas, here is the original color. Okay, and here is the new trailer. Oh, it's just not the same at all. And it's so funny because even when I was making the TikTok, I was like, oh, there's subtle differences. When I watched it back after and I looked at my hand after, I'm like, no, 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 they're completely different. Like it's not the same at all. Here's the original, here's the new one. It's literally like not even cool toned anymore. It's warmer, it's brighter, it's practically pink, like especially in this bright studio lighting. Look at that. Not the same at all. So consider this an unfavorite. NYX, I am so sad. I'm so sad and deeply upset. It's one thing to like discontinue a product and move on from it and force us all into purchasing another product that we didn't need. I understand, okay? If you wanna just ditch it and come out with a new formula altogether, that's fine. I'm looking at you makeup forever with your old aqua lip liners and you just come out with the artist pencils and whatever, that's fine. If you wanna come out with something new, that's cool. But don't just completely lie to us and tell us that the shade name is the same and make us think that it's all the same when it is, alas, completely different. This is not the same product. 
at all. Anyway, I apologize for not knowing this immediately upon the first use. It was so funny because I was putting on my Dior Rosewood lip oil and I was like, this looks really different. Like what is wrong? And then I realized, oh my God, it's so much warmer. It's not the same at all. Uh, so I'm gonna go on a little hunt this week and see if I can find any other shades from any other brand that match this because the color is just too perfect to ignore. And just let it be known that NYX Nude Beige as we know it no longer exists. And I'm, I'm so sad. It's been a beautiful year of bliss and love and joy and perfect, perfect lip liner shade for myself personally. And now it is no more. And I can't even, I can't even buy a backup. Out of backup is not the same at all. So to those of you who get this in the giveaways that go out, I'm sorry because it's not the same. And on that sad note, my friends, uh, that concludes my little roundup for December. Those are some of the products that I have used up as well as some of the beauty products that I have been loving and that has been tickling my soul over the last month. Please let me know in the comments down below any of the products that you have been loving and or not loving. I would love to hear from you and tell me what things that are bringing you joy going into the new year. I hope that you guys have had so much fun joining us for Landmas. We still have a couple more videos to go, but this was my beauty roundup too round up the month nonetheless. And I feel like the spirits and the products are feeling perky going into the new year. You know, it's a good fresh start. And I like where this whole condensing and simplifying life is going. So we've got some great products on hand and I look forward to seeing where they take us into the new year. <laughs> My friends, thank you so much for being here and for watching. And I will see you all tomorrow for a new Landmas video. Bye.